I would say in one word, what's inside us, who's listening to everything, but not interfering, that's Sai Baba. You know, we have a constitution, character, a body, mind, intellect, ego, all the aspects of a human existence, right? But there is something which is energizing it, something which is making it alive. That and Sai Baba are same. So when a person becomes a presence, that presence is in us also. Sai Baba is presence, not just a person. You can look at the person, but he's definitely not the person. He's the presence. He's omnipresent. He is love, his kindness, his compassion, his selflessness. He wants nothing from you. If you give a flower or a leaf, he'll be happy. But if you give yourself, he'll be happier. The best gift you can give to Baba is yourself. Surrender completely. You should not exist. When you become presence, all of us can become presence. This is the Samadhi states and beyond and stuff like that. We have techniques and methods where a person dissolves his personality and becomes presence. That's systematically explained in our scriptures. We have Bhakti Yoga, Jnana Yoga, Karma Yoga, Raja Yoga. All these are taking people from personality to presence. So great masters have walked this path. But today, especially, Baba has relevance because Baba stood for harmony, communal harmony, oneness, inclusiveness, love, beyond boundaries. You know, all, all things which are expansive by nature. It is our birthright to be multidimensional. We are all multidimensional. But we are so addicted to our personality, our name, our form, our family, our position in the society and our possessions. We forget that we have many more dimensions which we can actually experience in life. Baba is the representation of that. Now, recently, September 3rd, 2022, we had a, a program in Shirdi. Shirdi Sansthan, along with uh, Dr. Priya Shende, invited uh, the descendants of traditions uh, to Shirdi and honored them. I was also invited, I was, on, I was also honored. Great honor. I always felt Baba is now shifting gears and working much larger. He is reaching everywhere. He was living in a small place called Shirdi, you know, in a dilapidated mosque in the 1800, 1900, 1918 he left the body. So that time, 60 years or so he was there. And from there, today, which country or which place you don't see Baba? He's everywhere. His relevance is increasing. His presence is bringing harmony. I'll give you one example. We had a uh, Shirdi Sai Baba temple uh, installation, Pranapadishta, in Nonoti, in Durban, South Africa. And uh, temple was installed. Sulakhe Maharaj came and he did the Pranapadishta. And uh, people started coming. A few months later, they told me that the crime rate in that region reduced. We are giving food, people are coming to pray to Baba. And that area, the crime rate has reduced. Great extent, almost 80%. Do you see? So the effect of Baba's presence is in multiple levels. How did the crime rate reduce when we were giving food in the temple, when we were doing Anadan, giving food in the temple, people were coming, eating, and they were not harmful anymore. They were not interested in crime anymore. Many times, crimes happen because of hunger. Anger happens because of hunger. So, we can actually make a difference in people's lives by providing food. I believe in Anadan. And this is across the species. Beings of the water, like fishes and other beings. Beings of the air, the birds and other beings. Beings of earth, the animals, stray animals and stuff. And then our species, the helpless segment of our species, such as the old, the sick, the children, nursing mothers, etc. If we can provide food to them and support them, their existence, the society will be cleaner, more, more effective. And Baba's presence has a lot of value there. Uh, we were talking about the effect in Durban, uh, where people are coming there without knowing Baba, but going back, hearts full, and they want to come back. So what is Baba bringing to the place? The presence, the harmony, the stability, this is what Baba is bringing to countries. Now, 
I had a dream to have a huge statue of Sai Baba as a message to the world that let there be peace. We are not born to fight. We are not born to compete, to compare, to imitate. We are born to love. We are born to be kind. We are born to be compassionate, selfless. And we individually have to bring harmony to the world. We have to bring brightness into the society. We can. You know, it's like uh, Om Purnamada, Purnamidam, Purnat Purnamada Mudachyade, Purnasya Purnamadaya, Purnameva Avashishyade. That means a mother con uh, conceives a baby and delivers a baby. Mother remains the same, baby is uh, also complete. So like that, a lamp, when you light more lamps from the original lamp, the brightness never diminishes. So we are brightness and when we spread our brightness, we lose nothing. We increase our brightness through many. This is what we should do in the world. Uh, the small minds, the competition, comparison, this is not doing us any favor or giving us any strength. In fact, it's actually diminishing us. So, Baba's presence in the world has great relevance now. The warring countries, all these people who talk about religion, religious divisions, communalism, all these people should hear Baba's message. Stand together, be together, help each other, support each other, love each other, be one, be oneself, be unity. You know, one world, one family. Thank you.